Hello and welcome to Mindset Mondays with DTK. This is David Taylor Klaus and welcome to episode 48. Mindset Mondays, as a reminder, is a year long project of weekly uh, Facebook Live broadcast. This is designed for folks with a growth mindset or those who'd love to develop one or expand theirs to play with new ideas, new concepts, and try on new mindsets. Um, so if you will take just a moment to click share right below this video feed and invite your community, your colleagues, your friends, your Facebook friends to join the conversation. The more voices we have during the broadcast and after in the Facebook group, the richer the conversation that's available. So I chuckle because <laughs> I picked a quote for this week that I hate. <laughs> It's a question that irritates the hell out of me. A year from now, will you wish you started today? And no, it's not what will you wish that you'd started today, which is also a common quote that's out there. <laughs> the This is the, for me, this question, a year from now, will you wish you had started today versus what will you wish you started, is it gets to the heart of deciding. It gets to the heart of Making the call, looking inward and deciding, yes, there is a compelling draw. <laughs> Before you decide what it is you'll start or what you wish you will have started today, this really is a piece of deciding that there's something worth starting, that there's something calling. <clears throat> that there is something that is compelling you to move, to change, to shift, to grow. Will you wish you had started today? If the answer to that question is yes, then you explore what it is. Now, for some folks, you start with the what? Me? No. For me, where is that compulsion? Where is the call? Is that dissonance? calling me forward. Question, you know, <laughs> so I said in the write-up, it, it, the question to me starts with the presumption that we all have something in the pending file that we could, should, ought to, need to <laughs> start. And I've got a huge pending file. I've got a huge, literally a drawer full of ideas to explore and content to flesh out, and things to play with, initiatives to take to the next step, ideas brainstorming dumped into the physical. That pending file. All right. So does that mean everything in there is something that wants to move forward? No, it's an it's a in-process pile. <laughs> it's in process content. Most of them are actually crap. Not worth bringing out in the form they're in, but who knows how they'll combine and what I can create with that. Who knows how that will shift? But that's the piece. A year from now, will I wish I started today? I don't know. Yes, there are things that are pulling at me. Problem is I've got a really long list of stuff that I want to see different. And after, after riding again this weekend, <laughs> just shy of 40 miles on a bike and taking the hills more akin to the way I used to ride, I... <laughs> I wish I had gotten back into the routine a year ago. And so there are things that I want to be part of my life again and routines that I want to create. Getting back into the routine of riding being not just a weekend warrior, but more miles during the weekend and more frequency during the week. That's something that a year from now, oh dear God, I would wish that I had started today. So having health more deeply integrated back into my life. <laughs> yes. So what is it that I'm going to do? What will I wish I had started? The specifics can come later. Well, now for me, in this case, now is the time for those specifics. But the deciding, 
not choosing. This is that playground again. Um, the difference between choosing and deciding. I touched on this a few months ago. I, I love the distinction. Choosing is, if I'm choosing between the pencil and the pen, choosing is I pick one, I put down the other. I've chosen this one. Deciding the root of the Latin word, the, the root of the word decide is from the Latin decere, to cut. So it's not just choosing one and putting down the other, it's selecting this one and throwing away the other. It's a different level of selection, right? I'm not just choosing one option versus the other, I'm choosing one option and I'm cutting the others to decide is to cut. So what will have to change, what will have to give I, when I decide that, ha, when I decide on movement, on progress, then I can then decide what actions I will take and what actions I will stop, what has to go, what will I cut. We've got a very noisy world. Leave politics out of this for a moment. We have a very noisy world, very rich and full lives, all of us. So much energy, so much activity, so many choices. Deciding means saying yes to one thing and no to others. Clearing the clutter. Something's got to give. Staying with only with that that sparks joy. There's so many ways we talk about change. And this is a big one. It's when you say yes to something, you're saying no to other things that would normally have taken that place. I am very good at over yesing, saying yes to too many things. Even, even when I went to the choice, the list of choices down to things that fit with my values and things that would work for me and things that I want to have and crave having as part of my life, I can still say yes to too many things at a time. Yes, but not right now is hard. Sometimes harder than no. So it's about deciding. A year from now, well, I wish I had started today. What is it that's pushing me so hard? What is the difference? What is the change? What's calling me to have something different? Is the call strong enough, deep enough, resonant enough that I will wish that I had started today? So if it's a yes for you, what now the playground is, what will you wish you had started today? Now this is the beginning of the year contemplative space. What will you wish you had started today? How many things fall onto that list? What will you decide to keep? And what will you decide to throw away? What will be on your yes, but not now or your no list? What stays? What makes it onto the yes list? And there's even a lot of noise about these kind of questions. My goodness, my inbox for the last seven days have been has been filled with emails from friends, colleagues, coaches, thought leaders, consultants, Everybody is posting and talking about and reposting and retweeting and tons of information and articles about selecting and choosing and moving forward and resolutions. Oh, that ought to be a four letter word. It's that beginning of the year maelstrom of recommendations and calling forth and oh, it's mind numbing. <laughs> yes, my cynical edge is coming out this morning. I'm on a tear unsubscribing. 
It's my beginning of the year purge. I'm not waiting till spring. My January is punctuated every year by unsubs a wave of unsubscribes, shredding what comes into my inbox. And using filters on my Gmail, same as Outlook, same as Apple Mail, using those filters to shove mail into folders where they belong. Clearing the clutter, making room for reflection. Make the space emotionally, mentally, physically for choosing. Give your brain time and space. Give your heart, give yourself the chance to look in and ask the questions. A year from now, will I wish I had started today? <sighs> Hell yes. Give yourself the moment, the grace, the space. Steve August talks about the idea of the tyranny of the flat glass. <laughs> I love that phrase. Break free from it as I stand here in front of flat glass having a conversation with you. Break the tyranny of the flat glass and give yourself the space to look inward, to reflect. That first honest question is, will you wish you had started today? You know what that question really asks? Are you really gonna do anything different? Do you really want to make things different? Be honest. Only after you're honest and you declare it and say, yes, will you do anything and choose anything to make different? Breaking it down to the basics. Will you wish you started today? If yes, move on. Move on to what? Will you take a stand to see different? What's important enough for you to invest your time, effort, energy, heart, money, anything into? It starts with the decision to do something, then choosing what you'll do. Yes, I want to see something different. So that this time next year, you're not mulling over the same list or asking if you can start with a what. So what will you do this week to create the space, to create the time, to ask the questions so for this second week of January, give yourself the gift of space. Create some space, create some time to ask a year from now, will you wish you had started today? And if it's yes, then get curious. What will you do? So for this week, what mindset will you choose? <laughs> 